Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Aries. Let's see what's going on today, Aries. All right, I do wanna thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so, so greatly appreciated, okay? If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, okay? All right, this reading is going to be for Aries. All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the angels that protect us and the goddesses that gives us our strength. Show us, show us what we need to see for Aries. All right, so we have, so we have, were you raised in a born? Hmm. Swinging on the front porch, good times, cozy feelings, slow down, be in nature and thankfulness. So I'm definitely getting in I'm definitely getting the energy that there is someone here that is not happy with you. Whether it's you're not happy with someone or someone is not happy with you. Why? I'm not sure. We're gonna get into it and see what's going on here. But there's somebody here, they're coming at you sideways. They're coming at you, they're not pleased with your actions or whatever it is that you have chosen to do in your life or what you have done to them or however it's affected their life there's definitely somebody here that has some poor manners um there's a sense there's a lack of tact discourtesy and politeness and it's so, also saying social grace is required i do feel like for some of you guys there was some good times with this person at some point in time but something changed so there was a change and it was an upheaval that caused this person's feelings and emotions to change towards you okay or vice versa your feelings and your emotions to change towards this person let's see what's going on here all right let's see what's going on so this is going to be aries show me what i need to see for aries All right, and show me what I need to see for Aries' person. Okay, so we have the devil in reverse. We have the lovers, and we have the two of cups for your person. All right, so Aries, I have you to the left of me, and I have your person to the right of me. All right, we have two of wands. Somebody is looking forward to something looking away from something they have a decision to make about something all right so instantly we have the page of pinnacles somebody has an offer somebody wants to come in and they want to offer something here we also have the knight of wands that is someone that is highly attractive there's somebody that's very passionate about something. And then we have also the page of pentacles. All right, so I'm definitely getting that's your energy, Aries, whereas you may be younger than your person. A lot more, I, I see a lot of fun, spontaneity here in your energy. Your emotion, I'm, I'm getting some, some ener the energy of youthful feeling, whereas it's like a crush. I feel like for you have a crush on someone. But I definitely feel like you do not know how to express those emotions that you are feeling. But I'm also getting that you're not looking for true. It's like you're not in the position right now, Aries, to truly be looking for love. I feel like you're just wanting to come in and or whomever you're with, however this goes, you're, you're just looking to have fun. A little, you, you're looking for something a tad bit casual. I'm definitely getting that in, in the energy. For your person, we have death and rebirth in the reverse. So 
something has not ended. We have the lovers. And then we have the two of cups. And in reverse. This person, on the other hand, has strong feelings for you. This person sees you as their soul mate. This person loves you. And they don't want things to end with you. This person is highly attracted to you, Aries. I'm definitely getting that in the energy. And this person actually feels like y'all have some type of soul bond. This person is highly attractive to you. They feel like there's a lot of passion. I'm definitely getting a lot of passion between the two of you guys. This person has built up feelings for you. Way more feelings than you actually have for them. Okay. Um, because this person is really and truly just looking for a good time. That's what I'm, that, I'm, I'm actually sorry for saying that. I feel like you, Aries, are really and truly looking for a good time. But this person is looking to settle down with you. I'm definitely getting that in the energy. But I'm, I'm getting an argument. I feel like some of you guys, you may have had an argument with this person. Whereas I am getting in the energy that you, you're looking for a good time. But you and this person, y'all actually had some good times together. And I'm getting a feeling of snuggling at some point. But then I feel like you might have woken up in the middle of the process. And you were like, nah, let's not get too close. I'm definitely getting that in the energy. All right, let's see what's going on here. Let's see. Show me Aries. You and this person may have met at some ce celebration or a wedding itself. We have the four of wands. We have the devil. We have the devil in reverse. Something obsessive here. Let's see. Every some of you guys could be suffering with some type of addiction, whether it's your energy or your person's energy. That strong Capricorn energy as well. We have the page of wands in the reverse. And we also have the four of swords in the reverse. Hmm. With the nine of wands at the bottom. All right, so what am I taking from this? I'm definitely taking Aries there. There is some type of some type of obsessiveness, some type of addiction here. Hmm. There's some toxic behaviors, and I feel like Aries, this toxic behavior is on your part. Whether it's your energy or your person's energy, you can flip it as you see fit. Ta tarot is fluid, okay, guys. But I'm definitely getting an addiction. I'm definitely getting a lot of passion here. So what I'm seeing here, Aries, for your energy is what you're bring, what you're offering, and what you're bringing forth is a good time. And when I when and I say that, and I'm seeing this with here with the Devil in Reverse, Page of Wands in Reverse, and the Four of Swords, I feel like there's some type of addiction for some of you guys. It can be drugs, alcohol, or even sex. There is an addiction here. Okay, I see some of you guys, you may be partying a lot, Aries. I'm definitely getting that. And it's causing some type of instability. I feel like some of you guys, you may be showing showing your ass in public with all honesty. I'm definitely getting that with the social grace required, the poor manners and the discourtesy. You're not taking care of your business. That, that message is meant for someone. But you're also not treating the person that is in your life properly. I'm definitely getting that in the energy. That person actually loves you. That person does not want to actually give up on you. That person actually wants things to work out with you. That person is hoping and praying that things will get better. That person is actually thankful that you are in their life because at some point in time, you may have helped their life to transform. At some, at some point in time, I'm actually getting for some of you guys, you and this person could have been on the same party train in the sense that that's where y'all were in life, but something changed. And for some of you guys, you're definitely overindulging in something. Okay. There's some obsession. There's some 
there's something toxic here and I'm definitely getting a toxic trait for some of you guys with the four of swords in the reverse I'm definitely getting where you may abuse some type of substance to the point of not being able to function I'm definitely getting that here there's definitely something here that has a hold of you I'm definitely getting that here yeah and you don't want you're not I feel like for some of you guys you may not be thinking straight and guys for cross watchers let me know in the comments okay there's definitely something toxic here there's definitely something obsessive some type of obsessive disorder but not only that there's definitely an addiction I'm definitely getting that for some of you guys you could be married to this person you could definitely be married to this person Hmm. whether this is your energy or the person within your energy somebody has an addiction all right show me Aries this person show me Aries this person Aries you and this person could be separated y'all could definitely be separated right now We have the five of wands. This person is tired. Yeah, this person is so tired. The four of pentacles. We have the eight of wands. So if you and this person is not separated, and then we have the two of wands and the reverse. So this is the thing, say if you and this person is not separated, you may be separating. Here we have the emperor at the bottom of the deck. So I'm definitely getting if you and this person is not separated Aries, you could definitely be getting separated because this person is exhausted. This person has been holding on with for hope of this of this relationship rebuilding they've actually been holding hope keeping their they've been trying to not lose hope in you okay aries whether it's you or the person in your energy because it could be vice versa but i'm definitely getting there's someone here that has an addiction and their other party while they have not been treated the best that person is still holding on hope for the other to overcome whatever this is okay but this person is tired and i feel like this person is tired of holding everything together while the other one just kind of lives freely and this person is trying to pull the other person up with them like their hold it's like that person is holding the other person on their back and they're trying to climb still trying to survive in this relationship but they're having but they're but i'm getting a feeling of them having to do this on their own i'm definitely getting that here all right let's see hmm One or the other, y'all definitely, there's definitely love here. There's been a lot of passion. There's a lot of passion, but for some of you guys, but the thing about it is somebody is not reciprocating. Somebody is not offering the same thing the other one is offering. One person is in love. Their emotions, they're all in it. They're in it to win it. The other person, their 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 vision is distorted. They, there's something that is causing an obstacle causing a diversion and it's not allowing this relationship to grow and i see a lot of sleepless nights i see a lot of crying and praying by one or the other show me holy spirit show me what i need to see for aries And 
And I feel like one of you guys, you're holding on hope to past energy, forgiving and learning. Yeah. Trying to heal through this process. And there's deception. Yeah, I definitely am picking this up in the energy. Like there, this other person, whoever has the addiction, I'm definitely getting when they are consumed by whatever this is they not they are not thinking of the relationship i'm definitely getting that in the energy and here it says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship and that's that addiction that's that toxic energy when this person is high or doing whatever it is they are not they're not the same person that the other person is used to. I'm definitely getting that in the energy. It says forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Somebody is self-medicating. I'm definitely getting someone is self-medicating. And I'm getting a husband and wife here. I'm definitely getting the energy that this is a husband and wife. Guys, let me know in the comments, okay? If this message does not resonate with you, leave it. Don't try and make it fit in your life. I'm just picking up on the energies and I'm expressing it with you guys. So if this does not resonate, leave it. Just let me know in the comments, okay? All right, and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. This is a bonus reading for Aries. I'll do a few other bonus readings, but I wanted to come and see what the energy was. I wanted to see what the energy was because I knew I didn't do a bonus reading for you guys this month. And I said, well, let me come and do it. Um, but that's what I have for you. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.